what advice would you give to founders or do you have any advice for founders that are starting out or looking for funding? What's the biggest takeaway you've had from all of these applications and pitches and conversations? Mm -hmm. You know, it's an interesting balance between being ready and not too ready, honestly. Um, we have had a number of founders make it all the way into a screening with us, you know, an hour or so of Zoom. Uh, and then we all get on and use their product because that's typically what we like to do. We want to really understand mm -hmm. what we're investing in. And yeah. sadly, we've had a couple of cases where the founders are great. The market is strong. The opportunity is real. We really like them. They have strong backgrounds and credibility, but then the product is not up to par. It's not ready yet. And it's not in a beta controlled state. It's in market. And when we're oh, working wow. and in, investing in the field of mental health and well-being, um, a lot of our portfolio companies are building products and services that work with people who are in some type of a distressed state or they're seeking to improve their physical or mental health in some way. Mm -hmm. And so if they're building something that's intended to have a healing function or a human supportive function, and it doesn't work well enough to achieve that end, you could actually end up having the counter effect. Yeah. Um, I had this happen recently where there was an AI um, chat that was the product and I went in and started using it and the user experience was so negative and so confusing and so misguided that I ended up in a worse general <laughs> mental state after 10 minutes of trying to get this thing going. <laughs> and I'm thinking, God forbid my, you know, 79 year old dad were to encounter something like this. Like, so I mean, it's really not ready. what it kind of is. Yeah. Like yeah, make sure your ready, stuff works. Well, right. Just make sure you're, you're ready and make sure your deck is accurate and you don't have, you know, numbers that mismatch in slides, you know, two to seven and, your yeah. team is going to give the same answer to the same question on two different calls. I mean, basic prep, get your act together stuff. Yeah. Now the other side of the coin is don't be too ready. We all know incredibly capable founders who have, whether it's an imposter complex or self doubt or they get some their head. critic that mm -hmm. just keeps them from doing the thing. And they've been talking about it and dreaming about it and putting together summaries and telling their friends and family for years. Don't do that either. You know, it, it, don't let perfection be the enemy of the good. Um, mm. So that would be my suggestion. And I'll also note it's, it's almost always women who fall into that second category. We just tend to think we have to just really have our act together and be absolutely perfect to do that one first step forward into something scary and bold and risky. And I just really try to encourage women to pick their battles, you know, have your act together. If you have a high standard for yourself, you're probably more prepared than you think. Um, run your, run your stuff by someone and get an affirmation or two and then keep going. 